Okay. Hello, guys. Hello, hello. At, hello, at, uh, teacher. Ana Martinez, are you on vacation or do you work in 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 the camera? <laughs> okay, let's going to give one more minus to the other one because we only are twelve. We are twelve twelve so guys, today is the last class. For tomorrow, you are going to be completely free, <laughs> after all. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I think I closed something in my... Ah, okay. Excuse me, I I, I closed the, 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 the link where I was... The one that I have. Okay, one, two, three, four, six. Okay, let me check something after we... Where is this? Okay, 17. Okay. Well, guys, I'm going to share you the screen and see what we are going to talk about today. Uh, everything is clear, guys, for you. I don't know if you can see clearly what I'm sharing to all of you. It is clear, right? It is clear. Guy, how many of you already finished or already complete the, the test? Please let me know in the chat. Uh, let me know in the chat uh, the one who already complete the 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 final the final exam. Here in the chat you can tell me. We're sorry. <laughs> mm, let me see. Well, how many we have till here? Three, six, nine, twelve. Mm -hmm. Okay, Alba. We finished the plan. Who else already finished? Cecilia said that she already finished. Who else? Quien ya terminó? <laughs> Profe, hasta cuando tenemos para llenar ese, profe. Uh, we have until tomorrow, Friday at midnight. Mm -hmm. We have until tomorrow at midnight because mm -hmm. after midnight, the platform will get closed. Okay, okay. That's what is going to happen. You still have time. You have the whole night of today. <laughs> And almost the whole day of tomorrow. <laughs> well, in this case, Cecilia said already finished. Henry, he had finished. Claudia Yasmin, you already finished? Yeah. Angel Rano, you yes, already finished? Teacher. Okay. Yes. Uh, Jocelyn Yesenia Sanchez, you already finished the whole platform? 
Yes. Uh, Alexandra Melissa, you already finished, right? Yes. Okay, thank you. Uh, Jose Mauricio Alvarado, you already finished the uh, the platform? Okay, Christopher said oh, you already finished. Yes, you already finished. Okay, Graciela Tobar, you already finished? Yes, teacher. Hugo Leonidas, what about you? I am fine, you? Yeah, I'm good. Hugo, uh, I don't know if you already finished the, the, the whole exercise in the platform, including the final exam. Yes, yeah, yes, too. Okay, yes. <laughs> okay, thank you. Anna, what about you? You already finished? Anna Martinez? Yeah. Uh, I think Anna can hear me. Uh, uh, Gladys Abigail, you already finished the platform? Yes. Okay, thank you. Uh, Jose Mauricio. Uh, Douglas Enrique, what about you? Hi, teacher. Hi. Yes, uh, ya terminé la plataforma también. Okay, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Alba Maricela, what about you? You already finished the platform? Yes. Okay, thank you. Okay. And the other one is our uh, work. So, well. Uh, well, guys, we're going to start with the with the listening part. We're going to to pay attention to the audio, and after that, we're going to share the possible answer for the listening section. Right? Let me see. Oh my God. Mm. Listen to the conversations. Check the correct answers. One. Your name is interesting, Justine. Are you French? No, I'm not. Are you Italian? No, I'm Canadian. You're from Canada? Yes. My family is from Montreal originally. Two. Where's Mike? Uh, Mike? I don't know him. He's my friend from school. He's a little quiet. Oh, is he serious? Actually, no, he's not. He's very funny. Three. Wow, it's really warm today. Yes, it sure is. And it's sunny, too. No, it's not. Look, it's raining. Oh. Oh, well. Four. Hey, Sue. How are you? Great, Phil. How about you? I'm okay. Hey, you look great. That's a nice suit. Thanks. It's new. Um, where's Miss Collins? Uh, she's right over there. She's wearing a blue dress. Oh, I see her. Thanks. Um, uh, guys, uh, listen to the conversation. Sorry. <laughs> uh, well, in this case, guys, we're going to play again the audio, and after this time, we're going to check the possible answer, and we're going to check uh, the the four of them that we have right here. Let's play one more time and see what we have. Check the correct answers. One. Your name is interesting, Justine. Are you French? No, I'm not. Are you Italian? No, I'm Canadian. You're from Canada? Yes. My family is from Montreal originally. Two. Where's Mike? Uh, Mike? I don't know him. He's my friend from school. He's a little quiet. Oh, is he serious? Actually, no, he's not. He's very funny. Three. Wow, it's really warm today. Yes, it sure is. And it's sunny, too. 
No, it's not. Look, it's raining. Oh. Oh, well. Four. Hey, Sue. How are you? Great, Phil. How about you? I'm okay. Hey, you look great. That's a nice suit. Thanks. It's new. Um, where's Miss Collins? Uh, she's right over there. She's wearing a blue dress. Oh, I see her. Thanks. Okay. Um, let's see. Which one might be the possible answer, guys? Let's see. Let's go to check. Okay, let's move here to the number one. Where's Justin from? She's from Canada. She's from France. She's from Italy. She's from Canada. She's from, She's from, Canada. Canada. from Canada. She's from Canada. She's from Canada. She's from Canada. She's from Canada. Because in the audio it says, uh, uh, you are from Ontario. Yeah, that is that is in Canada. Ontario is located in, in Canada. Okay. Let's see, let's see, let's select the number one. What about the number two? What is my like? Let me tell you the possible answer. The number one, he's very warm and sunny. The number two. It's, it's a, a little, little quiet. quiet and very funny. Quiet, the number three, funny. he's a little quiet and very serious. Which one do you think might be the right and proper answer or the correct one? Number two. He's a little quiet. He's a little quiet. Number two. Number two. He, is, he is a little quiet, but very funny. Very funny. This happens, guys, when you are ugly, but you are funny. That is something that helps you. <laughs> In those cases, I think the audio refers to that. He's, he's telling to his friend that even that he is ugly, but the, the good side is that he is funny. <laughs> well, uh, what's the weather like? Let me read the three possible answer after that we're going to select the, the right one okay i'm going to read the number one it's very warm and sunny and number two it's raining but it's warm it's very sunny it's cold it's cold 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 which one might be the possible answer for the number three guys it's, it's raining, raining but it's, it's warm. raining. It's number two. It's raining, but it's warm. Okay, let's go to see. Now we're going with the number four. Is Sue? Uh, it's Sue wearing a blue dress. I'm going to read the three possible answers. Yes, she is. No, she's not. She's wearing a swimsuit. No, she's not. She's wearing a suit. Which one might be the possible answer, guy? Number three. No, Why not? Why? Why number three? Yes, she is. B. B. She is not. She's wearing a swimsuit. No, she's not. She's wearing a, a suit. Number three. Yeah, the three, yes, the three, yes. Okay. The majority of you are saying the number three. Okay, let the number three. Now we're going to check and see which one might be the possible answer for this section. Okay, ta 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 ta. Oh, guys, you did very very well. I think you you were really paying attention about everything because in the first and we were talking about as I was as I was mentioned to you. 
Uh, he was making emphasis I was the Ontario, the, the city of Ontario. And in that way, how you infer that is it is in Canada because he also mentioned that that the Ontario it is located in Canada. What about what is Mike like? Uh, she mentioned that he's a little quiet, but very funny. In this case. What about the what's the weather like? They were mentioning something about if it is rainy, if it is warm, but at the end they said it is rainy because it is raining, but it's warm, warm. What what might mean warm translated into Spanish, guy? It's cálido. Cálido, okay. Calido might be warm. Okay, let's go to the number four. Is Sue wearing a blue dress? And the right one was the number three. No, she's not. She's wearing a suit. What what means wearing? Wearing means the clothes that you that it is over your body. That's mean wearing. Or in other words, your outfit, your outfit, the clothes that you use uh, every day. Okay. Mm, let me see. The everything is complete here in part A. Right. Now we are going to move to part B and see what we have right here. Uh, let's see, guys. We have here. Okay. What we have right here? Mm -hmm. Read the answer, then write the question. What we're going to do? Write the question. Instruction to be able to work on this exercise, you need to read the answer first. Based on the answer, you may type your question. Do not forget to add a question mark at the end. Remember, if you were having some issues, some problems with, uh, in this case, with the uh, responding the, the the answer in, in the exam, I think that might be was one of the mistakes. Well, let's see. Here we have an example. Sample A, what's your name? My name is Tim. Are you are your parents in Peru? No, they're not in Peru. They're in Canada. Okay, let's see what we have right here, guys. No, they're not from England. They're from Australia. Mm -hmm. uh, what did you type right here, guys? What did you type? Mm -hmm. Are they from Inglaterra? Mm -hmm. Where are they from? No, pay attention. No, they are not from England. They are from Australia. Remember? Uh, Try to are keep... They from... are, they are they in the... Are they from England? Are, are they in are from they for... England? No, no. Are they... What else? From, from, from England. England. From England. From Canada. From Canada. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, Canada. We are not no. Now we, we we took a flight to to England. Now we 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 are not still in Canada. We move already to, in this case, to England. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Remember the structure that we were using, like the example that we have right here. That means how we're, we're going to respond this one. Are they from, from England? England. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's go into type. It. Are they from England? England. 
Okay, are they for England? Let's keep it that way. I don't know if I'm going to have problem with the capital letters. Better exchange. And the question mark. I don't remember what was the question mark here in my computer. I see it was seven. I don't remember my question mark here in my computer. <laughs> oh, there it is. I have it. Let's move to the number two. Uh, where from New York? Where are you from? Where are you from? Uh, pay attention, guy. See right here? Uh -huh. What do you are see you here? Weak? Are you we? Where are uh, you uh, from? Where are you? Oh, where from. are? Okay, where, where are, are you? Where you? Okay, let's keep it that way. Where are you from? After we're going to check the 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 possible answer, right? Let's see the number three. I think she's twenty two. Mm -hmm. I think she's twenty two. Which one do you think might be the right answer? Uh, how old is she? Uh, how old is she? How old is she? Okay, let's keep in that way. How old is she? What about the number four? No, my first language isn't Spanish, it's Portuguese. Mm -hmm. Is it your first language? No. No, no, no. We here in this case we can use. Uh, uh, no. Are you are no? <laughs> Let's see. First language. First language Spanish. Who, who is telling me that? Jocelyn. Is you your language Spanish? Okay, let's go into check this. Is your first language Spanish? Is your first language Spanish? No, my first language isn't Spanish. It's Portuguese. We're going to check it after that. Yes, and Japanese. I'm from Tokyo. Mm -hmm. Which one might, might be the possible answer, guys? Are you Japanese? Are you Panini or what? <laughs> Japan, are Japan. you from Japan? Uh -huh. Are you from Japan? Mm -hmm. Let's go to check. Are you what? From Japan. From Japan. Are you from Japan? Okay. Let's go to check again. The number one. Are they from England? No, they're not from England. They're from Australia. Let's go to move to the number three. Sorry, number two. <laughs> Where are you from? We're from New York. What about the number three? How old is she? I think she's 22. Is your... Is your first language Spanish? No, my first language isn't Spanish, it's Portuguese. What about the number five? Are you from Japan? Yes, I'm Japanese. I'm from Tokyo, Tokyo, Japan. The moment of truth. 
We're going to see which one might be the right answer. Ta 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 ta. Oh, what's going on? <clears throat> I don't know if the 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 site is having some issues, but I don't know what's going on, guys. Do you refresh? Oh, come on, this. Well, now we are going to check the, the answers. Okay. Well, guys, you see, number one, are they from England? Mm -hmm. That that was the right one. No, they are not from England. They are from Australia. Let's move to the number three, number two. Where are you from? We're from New York. What about number three? How old is she? Oh, sorry. I think she's 20. How old is she? I think she's 22. Let's go into see number four. Here we have the answer. Is your first language Spanish? Okay, no. My first language is in Spanish. It's Portuguese. What about the number five? Are you Japanese or are you this case? The only thing that changed here is the capital letter. Yes, I'm Japanese. I'm from from Tokyo. Guys, I would like that one of you or maybe two or three help me in order to read the whole five. First, you're going to uh, I don't know who wants to help me in this case to read it. Mm -hmm. Who wants to help me? Ta -ta -da. Let's see. Claudia, yes, ring. Thank you. <laughs> Hello, Claudia. Hello, teacher. Hello, Claudia. Claudia, would you like to help me reading the the five exercise that we have right here? Number one. Mm -hmm. Are they from England? No, they they not from England. They from Australia. Mm -hmm. What about number two? Where are you from? We're from New York. Mm -hmm. Number three, who is she? I think she's 22. Number four, is your first language Spanish? No, my first language, it's Spanish, it's Portuguese. Mm -hmm. My Number first, uh, uh, my first, remember, my, my first. first. My first. My is in Spanish. Number five, are you Japanese? Yes, I'm Japanese. I'm from Tokyo. I'm from Tokyo, 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 Japan. Tokyo, Japan. Okay, in this case, Alexandra Melissa. Hello, Alexandra. Alexandra Melissa Garcia. Hello, teacher. Uh, hello, Alexandra. Would you like to help me reading the five exercise that we have right here? Okay. Mm -hmm. Are they from England? Mm -hmm. No, they are not from England. They no. are mm -hmm. from Australia. Mm -hmm. uh, number two. Two. Where from, no, perdón. Where are you from? Mm -hmm. Where from New York? 
Number three. How old is he? Sí. I think I think she is twenty-two. Uh -huh. Number four. Uh -huh. Is your first language Spanish? Is your first language? Language Spanish? Uh -huh. No. My first language is in Spanish. Is in Spanish. Uh -huh. Is por portugués. Portuguese. Portuguese. <laughs> Portuguese. <laughs> Number okay. five. Are you Japanese? Yes. I'm Japanese. I'm from Tokyo. From Tokyo. From Tokiko. <laughs> okay, let me see. Uh, eh, Graciela Tobar, I don't know why you why you have your camera off. Um, let me see. In Giovanni Vladimir, what happened with your camera? Giovanni Vladimir and Graciela Tobar, please uh, turn on your, your camera, guys. If you are on, on your way home, uh, always le, let me know, right? Oh, okay. Okay, she says she's not at home. Okay, she's not at home. Well, guys, if you see, we here in this section, we were using uh, answer, uh, sorry. We were using a uh, question in this case, uh, the stroke using the verb to be, to be question or something like that. It might be, it might be no in, in different way, right? And let's see what else what we have here. Part B. Let's move to part C. Let's check what we have. In part C. Let me see. Oh, okay. Giovanni is still on his way home okay well choose the correct adjective to complete the sentence we already were talking about the the adjective if you remember guys mm. this case let's see the number one i'm going to read first and after read it we are going to select the right answer guy okay i'm going to read it larry isn't serious his and we have the different choices heavy funny and pretty funny 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 who else says funny yes funny 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 yes. funny 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 some others said funny okay let's keep it in that way like funny I funny. Let's see the number two. Jing is really good a student. She's very friendly, thin, smart. 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 smart, but not a smart TV, right? <laughs> smart. Okay, let's go to keep it smart. My teacher isn't sure. She's. Sorry. Child. Tall. Tall, heavy, pretty. Tall. Tall, Tall like me. Like. <laughs> okay, in this case, let me see. I'm going to read the number four and we're going to see what we have. My brother is good cooking. He's, we have the different choices. Handsome, interesting, Handsome. and pretty. Handsome. 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 Ah, handsome. Okay. Sorry. Sorry, guys. I, I, I think I can I can hear well. I confuse. I confuse. <laughs> I confuse the number one. It's handsome, not handsome. Okay. 
Now we're going to check and see which one might be the possible answer that we have right here. Okay, I think the all of them were were good, were right. Okay, we have in the number one. Larry isn't serious. He's funny. Funny, funny. funny. Serious translating to Spanish might be. How can we translate serious into Spanish? Larry no es serio. No, yo, yo, no, 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 guys, just this word. Just this word, this one, serious. Just the, the word serious. Serio. Mm -hmm, serio. Okay, what about the trio? Uh, hey, we, which, which might be translated to Spanish? Pesado. Mm, pesado. Mm -hmm, okay. What about funny? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, okay. What about pretty? In this, be careful with this adjective. Remember, guys, that I was telling you in one, in, in one class. Okay, we're going to make a stop right there. In this case, we have two adjectives. We have handsome and we have pretty. Handsome for me we, is for men and pretty for women. For woman. Use for woman. Remember, these two adjectives have a gender. In this case, what this mean? You can say to a man, "You are very, very pretty, my friend." He, if he is a guy, no, 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 no. If it is a guy, you are going to say handsome. If it is a girl, you can say pretty. Well, don't confuse about that because the uh, people uh, used to sing because they are adjectives to describe personality or something like that. They think the the both the both of them might be used for the two genders. No, 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 no. Each of them have different genders. Okay, let's see number two. Jing is really good a student. She's very smart what is smart translated to spanish okay inteligente. what about thing alta delgada delgada <laughs> uh, what about friendly amigable mm, okay That's amigable. Okay, that's what I want you to know, guys. Not only the, the not only to pronounce correctly this word, you must know exactly what those words really mean because you won't say one word without knowing what this means. You must know what all of these words mean. Okay, let's move to the number three. My teacher is in charge. She's tall. In this case, tall, tall. What it means in in, in Spanish? Alto. 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 Mm -hmm. That's it. That's it. That's it. We have a game heavy. Heavy. What we said about heavy? Gordito. Mm -hmm. Gordita. Uh -huh. Yeah, that, that might be another one. <laughs> and, and we have a game pretty. Bonita. Mm -hmm. We might get confused because in this case you are talking about chi, and some of you might think, oh, the teacher said that chi goes with pretty, and I don't know that it is tall. No. The key here was we were talking about that. Let me see, guys. Ah, okay. Mm. Okay. What about the number four? My brother is good looking. He's handsome. What do you mean, handsome? Guapo. Guapo, bello. 
<laughs> that that to me translating to Spanish. What about interesting? Interesante. 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 Eso, thank you. And we have pretty again. I think the, the one who made the test, they really enjoyed this word pretty. <laughs> they enjoy the word a lot. <laughs> okay, we already finished part C, D, E, and we have an F. Okay. We already finished the section C. Now we're going to move to the section D and see what we have right here. Oh, what we have here, guys. Instruction, choose the correct answer to the question. Mm -hmm. We have the first one. Is this too a scarf? Mm -hmm. Which one do you think might be the best answer? Which one might be the best answer, guys? Mm -hmm. Who can help me? Is this so... Is this so a scar? Yes, SB. No, it's uh, not. No, it's not her. It's mine. Okay. No, it's not her. It's mine. Let's keep it that way. Whose boots are these? Let's going to see which one might be the best answer. Mm -hmm. If maybe they're cutties. Maybe they're cutties. Mm -hmm. Got it. Let's keep in that way too. What about the number three? Are these Lisa gloves? Mm -hmm. Yes, they they are hers. Mm -hmm. Yes, they hers. Okay. Whose hat is this? Maybe they carries. No, it's not her. It's mine. I think it's yours. Which one do you think might be the best or the correct answer? I think it's yours. I think it's yours. I think. Let's let's imagine that might be that one. <laughs> well, what about the number five? Are these Peters and Katie's codes? Let's see. No, they aren't. The, no, they aren't theirs. They're ours. Maybe they're Katie's. No, it's not hers. It's mine. I think it's yours. No, they aren't theirs. They're your ours. No, they aren't theirs. They're ours. Mm -hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Maybe the ears cut this. Well, we're going to choose this one. We're going to hear to the ladies. And we're going to see which one might be the possible answer. Okay. Let's see, guys. Is this Sue's scar? The right answer was no, it's not hers. It's my, my. Mm -hmm. it's going to see mm. whose boots are these maybe they're katie's mm -hmm. what about the number three and uh, are these lisa's gloves yes they're hers mm -hmm. Okay. Whose hat is this? I think it's yours. Oh, remember this case? They, <laughs> they can, maybe they Katie's. Are these Peters and Katie? Oh, remember, see guys, that's why you must be careful. Plural, are these Peters and Katie's goals? No, they aren't theirs. They ours. Uh, <clears throat> guys, in this case, I don't know if you remember what we were using. Uh, we were using uh, here. 
what we were using. How 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 do you remember all of this one we were working on? Mm -hmm. In this case, which one might be possessive pronoun and which one might be possessive adjective? Which one do you consider that we are using? Possessive pronoun or possessive adjectives? Possessive pronoun. Mm -hmm. Which one? Mm -hmm. Possessive what? Possessive pronoun. Mm -hmm. In this case, R. Possessive pronouns. Who said processing pronouns too? Mm -hmm. Guys, why you are why are so quiet? I, I think you really were paying attention. I just have heard some of you. I have heard I think like Christopher. I don't know who else shares your opinion. Christopher said possessive pronoun. Do you think they are possessive pronoun? Yes. Yes, possessive pronoun. Why they are possessive pronoun, guys? How 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 do you how do you see or how do you notice that they are possessive pronoun? Remember, I gave you a key in order to remember it and identify. Uh, when they are going to be possessive adjective or possessive pronoun. What is the position of the possessive pronouns? N. Number one is this. At the end of what? At the end of the? My. No. <laughs> Guy, I gave you a key. Remember, possessive adjective goes possessive, uh, sorry, uh, possessive pronoun goes mm -hmm. remember the key that I gave you in order to remember which one are possessive pronoun and which one are possessive adjective possessive es, adjective es mi o y mi no no mine I, 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 and mine yeah the, 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 no, in the middle are, yeah Christopher is, and, is saying pos, uh -huh. continue and the, and the possessive pronoun uh, at the end did you hear what Christopher was telling us possessive adjective goes in the middle of the sentence, in the middle of the statement, and possessive pronoun goes always at the end of the statement or at the end of the sentence. And how also you can remember which one are possessive adjective, my, your, his, her, it, or yours, and they. Possessive pronoun, my, yours. What is the difference? They end with a S. That's it are the same both with S at the end. The, 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 those are the, the difference, right? Okay, let's go to move to the letter E and see what we have. Well, we're going to move to the letter E. Now, use the correct present continuous form. Okay, guys, what we have right here, the number one, are you wearing jeans? Oh, mm -hmm. no, I'm wearing suit. No, I'm wearing a suit. No, I am worse a suit. <laughs> That's so weird. Mm -hmm. Which one do you no, see might be? Um, no, I'm wearing a suit. Mm -hmm. Anna said B. No, I'm wearing a suit. Who really agree with this one? No, I'm wearing a suit. No, I'm wearing a suit. 
Uh -huh. Okay, let's keep it on that way. What about the number two? Is Mr. Sims wearing a tie? Let's see the choices. No, he's wearing a tie. No, I'm not wearing a tie. No, he isn't wearing a tie. Mm -hmm. he, no, no, he isn't, he isn't he's wearing, he's a tie. wearing a tie. No, he isn't wearing a tie. Okay, let's put it in that way. What about the number three? Are Ed and Sue wearing sweaters? Let's see. Yes, he's wearing sweaters. No, they're not. It's very hot. <laughs> no, they're wearing sweaters. No, no they're not. They're wearing... It's very hot. No, they're not. It's very hot. Which one? A, B, or C? Mm, B. Yeah, C. B. B, C, Cleta. Ah, oh, no, no. B or C. <laughs> How many said B. B? Okay, let's keep it like B. B. Okay, let's B. keep in B. Let's keep in B. Let's go with another one. Is it raining? Yes, it is rain. No, it's not raining. It's snowing. It's better. <laughs> no, isn't raining. Not. It's B. No. Okay, it's B. Let's, let's keep it that way. Now we're going to check the answers. Ta -ta -ta -ta. Okay, the first one. Are you wearing jeans? No, I'm wearing a suit. What about the number two? Uh, is Mr. Sims wearing a tie? No, he's, he isn't wearing a tie. Okay, it's good. What about number three? Are Ed and Sue wearing sweaters? Mm -hmm. No, they're not. It's very hot. It is raining. No, it's not raining. It's snowing. Why we choose or we select those, those answers, guys? Because we were talking about the present continuous. And the structure of the present continuous said that we have to keep the same structure at the moment to answer to those questions. If someone is asking you something using present continuous, you are going to answer to that person using the same structure, using the present continuous. In this case, the number one is telling, oh, are you wearing jeans? We have, um, we have the verb to be here at the beginning using as a question, are. Which one are the three different sections of the verb to be? Am, um, are, and is. And, but the most common one at the moment to make question are going to be are and is. Am, um, it is like a, um, probably in order to make some question, but it might be used, but it's like a very way to use it. You see, are you wearing, do you have the verb to be right here? Do you have the subject? We have the bear in the ing for mm -hmm. that is how you know that it is a present continuum how you're going to answer no i'm wearing a suit you won't say or you won't answer no i'm wear a suit no because you're going to respond using the same structure what about in the case is mr sings wearing a tie you see the form is we have the bear in the ing that's why we are going to answer in the same way. No, he isn't wearing. We won't say where because we are using present continuous. The present continuous, what is said? The verb in ing for. That is how we identify or how we recognize or how we know that we are using that structure. Let's see the number three. Are Ed and Sue wearing sweaters? No, they're not. It's very hot. Okay, no, they're not it's very hot it is a chore it is a chore a chore answer no they're not it's very hot in this case it is raining no it's not raining it's snowing we won't say it's not rain it's snow no 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 it 
answer all the time are going to be according with the structure in which the question is, is made. Okay, now we are lacking of time. Uh, and we have to complete the, the last section of, of this one. Okay, we're still running out of time, guys, but we are going to complete this, end, this section. Look at the clocks and select the two possible correct answer for the hour display on each watch. Okay, example, A, what time is it? It's 20 after two. It's 2.20. Mm -hmm. Example, in, example in Espanol, ¿a qué hora, qué hora es? ¿Son 20 pasadas las dos o son las dos y 20? That is the example that we have. Okay. What about in this one? We have here seven and we have here 10. What time is it? It's 10 to seven, it's 10 35, it's 66, it's 650, or it's 25 to 11. Mm -hmm. It's 10 to seven. It's 10 to 7. It's 10 to 7. It's 10 to 7. Okay, let's keep it that way. La segunda. No, eh, you said. Es que son it's, dos. Son dos respuestas. Yeah, this, this is the example in this one. This is the... No, it is just one, you see? It's Oh, no, no, we can, um, we can choose another one. Uh, I think we can choose. It's 615, la segunda. It's this one? No, it's six, number, six, number three, number three. It's 650. Mm -hmm. 650, yes. okay, we have this. Two. These two choices, it's 10 to seven and it's 650. Okay, it is valid. What about the number three? What time is it? Mm -hmm. It's 9.45. It's, it's 8.45. It's 8.45. It's 8.45 and what else? It's a quarter? It's a quarter to nine. It's a, quarter, it's a quarter to nine. Let's see what else we have here. What time is it? It's five hmm. past 11. It's five past 11. It's 11.05. 11 oh, it's 12.55. Five, five. It's five to one. Mm -hmm. It's 11.05. 11 oh, five. It's 11.05. Oh, five. Oh, five. <laughs> Oh. Let's going to see the possible answer, guys. Now we're going to see. -na -na -na. Mm. Oh, yeah, you were right, guys. We have different choices. <laughs> okay, what time is it? It said it's 10 to 7. That's what I mean. 10 to 7. What was another choice? It's 6. Uh, it's 6.50, yeah, because there is no jet seven. Okay, what about the number three? What time is it? We have the little arrow right here and the large one in the night. It is 5, 10, 15, okay? It's 8.45. It's a quarter. Remember that what, what, that's the... That, how that's why we call a quarter because they were in four parts 15, 15, 15, and 15. That's why they made a quarter because it's the four part of the whole thing. Mm -hmm. What about this one? What time is it? It's five past 11. Mm -hmm. We have the little arrow in the 11 and the large one in the, in the number one. In this case, it represented five. Okay, the other choice that we have, which one was? It's 11.05, 11.05. Okay, you were right, guys. I think this is, yeah, A, A B, C, D, E, F, G, oh no, it's just F. <laughs> okay, uh, I think we already done the, the 
query and complete the, the whole test. Well, guys, um, this is was everything for today. I hope you had enjoyed the the whole model. Uh, I hope the you really learn a lot of things or maybe a few of them, but I motivate you to keep improving your English, to keep learning new things, learning new vocabulary, and to keep on um, this project, right? Because uh, those projects are the ones that really help us uh, if you really are interested in learning a new language. In this case, like it is uh, English. <laughs> I hope you already complete the whole thing that you have to do in the module in order to get your degree. And after I cut the, the recording, I, I will give you some words to all of you guys in Spanish, okay? This is was everything we're going to put a stop right here.